All right, hello and welcome to this comp complimentary training. I'm Chris Badgett from Lifter LMS and I have a very special guest. His name is Zach Katz. He's from Gravity View, which in a nutshell allows you to display your form entries, your gravity form entries in creative ways on the front end of the website to solve your whatever kind of what you, what you actually want to do with the data, which is a big part of a learning management system. We're often collecting data from people, whether um, it's some kind of certification or coaching or personal development, self-study thing. There's a lot of different um, ways that data, co data comes in as part of the training or even just allowing people to easily submit testimonials and display on the front end, or if you want to customize the student dashboard and have people be slowly building something or updating something and have that data displaying. Super excited about it. Before we go any deeper, Zach, welcome to the call. Thanks, Chris. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lifter LMS world. Yeah, awesome. And I'm stoked that we are now in the same time zone. So that's <laughs> yeah. cool. And um, so congratulations on your move. And um, so we are recording this. There will be a replay. This will go up forever in the Lifter LMS um, webinar area. If you're not sure where that is, we'll put a link to that in the chat. But we've been doing these complimentary trainings for about three or four years now. And I like to bring in smart folks who have, who have um, a ton of value to add to the course creation community. So Zach was a great person for that, especially um, in that, you know, a lot of you are already using Gravity Forms. Um, and one of the reasons I personally use Gravity Forms, it's just, been, I've been around WordPress a long time. Gravity Forms is like the original, I don't know if it's the original, but it was definitely the most popular form plugin and it has the most integration. So there's people like Zach building cool tools on top of it, um, which is what's kept me in the Gravity Forms ecosystem for, I don't know how many years now, nine, 10, eight, something like that. It's been a long time. Um, so welcome, welcome to the call. We are gonna be doing a giveaway. So stay to the end. Uh, we're giving away a Lifter LMS license, a $99 value one year. If you're already a customer and you win, don't worry about it. We're gonna hook you up with um, that value in a different way. Uh, so stick around. This is also interactive. Uh, use the chat box, we'll be keeping an eye on that. If you're watching on the live stream on YouTube, go ahead and drop a comment below the YouTube video so we know where you're there. Feel free to ask questions over there on YouTube. Also, if you wanna jump over from YouTube into the webinar, uh, we'll post a link over there on how to join this webinar while it's live. And yeah, just ask questions. And Zach, are you the kind of person who wants me to kind of save questions to the end or interrupt you as, as we go and they come in? Do you have a problem? Oh, feel free to interrupt, yeah. So you're an interrupter. Okay, people usually have a, <laughs> people usually have a preference, but I can, I can do it either style. Right. Um, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, please ask questions so we can customize this so it adds the most value it can for you. Um, but yeah, Zach, welcome. I'm so stoked that, uh, you know, you've, you've already added a lot of value to the Lifter LMS community. I've even pulled you in and asked favors to help me solve some problems people are having in, in our uh, office hours mastermind call, stuff they're trying to do with Gravity Forms. Um, Dale just posted his, his thing that he's going for there. So uh, something to check out, but um, yeah, take it, take it away. So. All right. Take it from the top. And maybe uh, and one way to just start uh, is if you could just, because I, I know this was a big like enlightenment thing for me when I was learning tech and Word, WordPress and websites, is once I realized that the form, a form is like fundamentally like the building block of a website or whatever, it, when that finally clicked for me, I'm like, oh, that's why they're so right. powerful. So like, can you bring us in like on that wedge? Sure, I can try. Uh, <laughs> um, so what's a form and every website What needs is a one. form? Yeah. Um, a form is a way to collect data. Uh, and that could be any type of data that you have. So a contact form. Uh, think, of, think of it as the components 
and break it down there. So when you, when you have a contact form on a website, what is that? You're gathering a name, you're gathering an email address, you're gathering, gathering a phone number, and maybe like a comment box, right? So what do you do with that data once a form is submitted? Normal, in the old days, before Gravity Forms, the form would be submitted and you get an email sent to you. This person contacted you from this form and that was that. You had to follow up, you didn't have any record other than your email. Uh, and then Gravity Forms came along, along with some lesser form builders. And uh, Gravity Forms uh, allowed you to store those, those entries, those contacts in your website database. So they are no longer just ephemeral and no longer just an email. They get stored. So each field, each the name field, gets stored in your database on your website. It, it becomes a file, let's say. Uh, you can upload files. People can upload images. You, all this stuff gets stored on your website so you can come back and review it and say, okay, add notes, see each entry, each contact entry, and say, okay, I followed up with this person. And you, you have a record of all this stuff that's happened instead of just you know, the form submitting. Gravity Forms also connects to other services. So when you submit the form, when you push that button, instead of just an email, instead of just connecting to your website and, and having a list of all the contacts, you can say, hey, by the way, uh, add this to Google Sheets and add that to um, have it turn on my home kit light bulb. You can do what <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Uh, if, if you have a contact form where people can turn on and off your light bulbs in your house, that would probably get a little messy, but uh, it's possible. <laughs> so uh, those submissions, um, a form, because it can be any sort of data, can be morphed into, okay, well, I am running this gym and I want people to have a way to track their reps and track the amount of mindful minutes that they have. Well, you may experience that currently as an app on your phone, but you can also integrate that sort of functionality on your website. And you do that by setting up a form and deciding, well, what kind of data am I trying to collect here? Um, and what kind of information do I want to refer to later and see charts of and um, and more deeply uh, uh, integrate and export. And, you know, that's the kind of thinking where uh, a form can be anything you want. So what do you want the form to be? So with Gravity Forms, you collect the data and it's visible when you log into the back end of your website. When you log into the dashboard, when you go to log in on your WordPress site and you click you know, log in, you can see the entries there. With Gravity View, you can take those entries and you can configure the fields that are visible so that only the fields you want to be public can be seen publicly. Um, so it turns it from a tool for you, the site administrator, to a, a way to gather data from the public or from your users and display it to them or to the public and on your website. So it's not just gathering data for you, it's using the data for your site in a way that hadn't been possible before. So um, now instead of just submitting a form and having it be useful to the administrator, you're submitting a form and you're adding content to the site. Gravity View makes it so you can approve those entries before they're visible so it's not just getting spammed, right? Um, and Gravity View also, you can set up search tools so people can, uh, can review the data that's submitted and it becomes a directory. So, no longer is it just a contact form or a testimonial form that goes in and you have to copy and paste the testimonial onto a static page on your WordPress site. Now you can have the testimonial directly populate the testimonials page once you approve it. So Gravity View really turns Gravity Forms into um, an app builder. What's, what kind of data do you want to gather and what kind of data do you want to display on your site? That's what Gravity View can help you, uh, can help you do. Um, so I hope that kind of gives an overview of what's a form and uh, what's Gravity View uh, and how does that kind of integrate it. That's super, super cool. Thanks for doing that. And just a quick question. Um, Somebody is asking, uh, I kind of mentioned like I'm a Gravity Forms user. I've always been using it. But what's, when somebody asks you how does Gravity Forms compare to whatever, they're, they're referencing Ninja Forms in this case. How do you answer that question? 
Uh, sure. So ninja forms and gravity forms have been around for a long time. Uh, ninja forms, I believe, well, short answer, uh, it comes down to preference, really. You can achieve similar things with both tools. Um, ninja forms, I believe, is less cost effective if you are doing a powerful kit, like all the add-ons and integrations. Um, from what I understand, it's less cost effective. Um, I just love gravity forms and the ease of integrating and building on top of it as a third party. It's been very easy to do and it, it really empowers a bunch of people to build on top of it. So I think the, in, the ecosystem around gravity forms is a lot stronger than the ecosystem around ninja forms in my opinion. And I'm, I'm sure the ninja forms people might disagree, but <laughs> I, that's my understanding is that gravity forms has a lot more developer activity surrounding it. And you know, one of the nice things is uh, anytime you need anything customized with gravity forms, A, it's possible because they have tons of developer integration opportunities called hooks and filters. Uh, you can go in there and modify whatever you want. Uh, but B, you can go on a site like codable.io and say, hey, I want to do this with, with gravity forms. And so many people have experience with gravity forms that finding a professional that can help you is really easy. And uh, as a user, it's easy to use. And as a developer, it's easy to use. And uh, their support is top notch. And I'm, I'm on Team Gravity View, obviously, or Gravity Forms, obviously. I'm, I'm, I am Team Gravity View, but <laughs> <laughs> Team Gravity Forms all the way. Awesome. So um, I was thinking that today uh, I would show what Gravity View can, can do overall. And then I was going to show what Gravity View can do in the context of Lifter LMS um, and kind of break it down into those two sections to kind of give it give a tour of the, the, the Gravity View plugin and then show how it can be integrated with Lifter. Awesome. So no slideshow. We're going live. Oh, slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and for, the, uh, for everybody out there, uh, today is the the big reveal day of a new Gravity View Lifter LMS integration. Um, yeah. So you will now uh, be the first ones worldwide to be able to see this. All right, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So, uh, can everybody uh, Chris, can you see the screen okay? Yeah, it looks great. We got the, the form preview window. Excellent. WordPress, yep. Okay, so you know how I was just talking about gathering the data and deciding what data to collect. Um, that data um, can be collected when you, by designing the form. Uh, and this is Gravity Forms uh, edit form screen. And I'll make this a little bigger. So you can decide what fields to uh, add to your form. And these are text fields and the paragraph text address fields, you know, the standard form fields. Um, when you submit that information in Gravity View, you can choose to display it in different ways, like a table. And you can choose which fields are visible. So those fields that you just saw in the form are now become columns at a table. And you can sort by those fields. And you can filter by those fields as well. So that only the industry, oh, only the industry is visible because I just sorted by it. And you can search. Let's say we want we know the name of the business. You can search and find things easier. And then you can click through to a single entry and see additional details that were submitted that you didn't want to show on the public directory page. Uh, so you can have um, one view that is multiple entries all shown at once and then you can really narrow down and say okay now that i found the one that i want i can click through and see the details that's cool so that's kind of like that before we hit record we were talking about some use cases you could use that for like a coach certified coach directory type thing oh absolutely yeah uh, gravity view we actually developed gravity view uh, based on 
a client need uh, six years ago, and the client was trying to uh, create a directory of um, animal doctors, and those doctors uh, wanted a way to show that they were certified, um, that they had done, you know, that they completed the training and wanted their contact details visible. So we created Gravity View to display the entry data that was collected with Gravity Forms. So, cool. so that's, yeah, that's absolutely possible. So that's a table layout. And then you can use the same data to populate a different type of layout where it's more like a Yelp listing where it has the name is up here and you have headings and additional texts and you, you have phone numbers that you can click and have it call directly using the, if they're on their mobile device or, um, you know, they, they can go directly to the website by clicking website URLs. So this is all powered by the same data that you were just seeing being gathered in Gravity Forms. So what does that mean when it comes to Lifter LMS? Um, so Lifter LMS, you have, um, one second, sorry. I'm so excited for this because I see what I see people do this all the time. They pass a course, like a certification course, and then up on the next lesson, if you're using the literal element, like the last final lesson, only you can only get there if you pass the test or whatever. And now you're a certified coach, you can input your listing for the coach directory or whatever. It's mm -hmm. you just made it all possible with no custom development, no custom development at all. And you can have featured you can have featured listings. So if people want to pay to have additional functionality shown in the directory, wow. that's all possible out of the box with Gravity View. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah. See, this is why Gravity Gravity is just so flexible and combined with Gravity View. I mean, wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you have a Lifter LMS course, and in the course you've integrated with Gravity Forms, and you say. Uh, you want, you have a leadership lesson that has, here, let me see, edit lesson. The lesson has a gravity forms form in there that is part of um, your lesson assignments. So you, when you complete the lesson by submitting the form, you get, you get to go to the next lesson. Um, that data now can be used inside Lifter LMS as well. So uh, let's say you have a group assignment where people uh, people come up with creative ideas and like or want to want to share you know what's your spirit animal okay uh, pe pe you might want to get their juices flowing with some ideas so you can show prior respondents on that uh, lesson page and I'll, let me show you what that would look like also so like a group assignment you said it's a group assignment idea exactly so this uh, is a lesson where somebody already uh, filled out the form about their type of leadership. And let's say this is a leadership course and you watch sure the video. I'm not sure we're seeing, we're still seeing the, the, the gravity. Oh, bummer. Let's see. Really? All and, right, let uh, me try. Yeah. Let me try resharing. Sorry, I, did, I didn't catch that earlier. Uh, okay, so d are you able to see yourself Wait. on the video right now? Uh, no. Hmm. Okay. Maybe share all the windows, you know what I mean? I'm going to share all the windows. Let's see. <laughs> Is that better? I, it's still um, just sharing. Did you stop sharing? No. Okay, here. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. Don't worry about it. There's always something. There okay, we go. Should... So there's... Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. That would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have a leadership lesson and you watch a video of Chris giving an excellent talk and you get inspired and you learn about different types of leadership and you say, oh man, this is great. Uh, and then you're, you're the, whoever created the lesson and the course says, okay, well, synthesize what you've learned and share it with the rest of us. Okay. Well, you can do that by embedding a Gravity Forms form in your lesson. And you can have that be part of the assignment that gets completed. Um, so 
And this is the form being embedded in the lesson. This is the lesson. We're editing the lesson right here. With Gravity View, you can choose to share specific um, entries by students in the same lesson by embedding your Gravity View shortcode. And we're about to release Gutenberg blocks as well. Um, so what I've done is I've embedded a Gravity View shortcode that shows approved submissions from that uh, form. So now it's not just going completing the lesson and moving to the next assignment. It's being part of the lesson itself. So here's a response from that form where somebody refers to the, um, the lesson and fill, fills out the form and the form had what's your leadership type and what are the thoughts about the lesson. So how do you, what, are, what does this look like in the back end and how do you, uh, how do you see what, um, how do you use this? Okay. We can look at the entries. Sorry, I've got a lot of windows going on. And while you're grabbing that, Atara was asking a question about there might be a problem with confidentiality. I think one example mm -hmm. I just throw out there is like if you're ever collecting a testimonial or a review, like add a checkbox where they agree to um, you being able to use it for marketing purposes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Gravity Forms has a built in consent field that can be checked. Um, and that, that will take care of that as well. And I'm about to show you how to get around the big issue, which is, okay, so what if this is private? <laughs> mm -hmm. What if you only want to show people's entries to themselves? And, uh, I will show you how to do that. So here's, in Gravity Forms, we've collected the data from the form. And the form for the, that I'm talking about is just leadership type is a text field and share your thoughts about a lesson. It's another text field. Um, in the back end, there have been multiple submissions. Only one of them has been approved, and that's the one that you just saw. So I, as the site administrator, see these other ones coming in as students complete the lesson. I say, OK, I like this. I'm going to approve this one for visibility site-wide. So I go back to the lesson, I refresh, and there you go. You have another entry that's visible now. So there's a and, layer of moderation. Like if somebody comes in on your testimonial and talks about is like spamming it or something, it doesn't have to automatically come through. It doesn't have to, and it's not by default automatically shown. Um, it, you can choose. You can choose to show everything. Like let's say you have a form that's embedded on a membership, members only site, you know only members are going to be submitting it. You don't have to worry about moderation. You can choose to not moderate that. So you have responses here. And normally if you hadn't filled out a form, filled out the form, it would be showing here under underneath. Uh, but I've already taken the lesson, unfortunately. <laughs> um, okay, so great. You, that's all in the lesson, but what about site-wide? What about overall? What about an overview? Well, Lister LMS has a student dashboard and Gravity View now has a world premiere <laughs> Lifter LMS integration called My Form Entries. And these are the entries that I have submitted. And you can visit the link directly to the lesson where you submitted the entry in. Ooh, that's cool. So uh, this kind of ties into what Dale's question was about. Like we have a table here, but what else? I mean, forms are flexible. What else could, can you jog some creativity? Like what else could- Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, they could be upload, they could be pictures, right? Like- Oh, sure. Uh, so this is, I, I'm doing the table just for ease of display because without having, without having to, um, you know, get too specific, but I'm, I'm happy to show all the different um, types of things you can do. Um, so that's, my form entries, I'll show you real quickly uh, how that works in Lifter LMS. We, this is the new integration. We've added a tab, oop, a tab to integrations. And you can see Gravity View here. And you can say, only show student entries. So what I didn't, what I forgot to say there uh, in that, uh, in that demo was that the visibility was limited to only the students own entries. So on the, on the lesson, I embedded this one, which is all entries, all of them oh. being approved. 
and then on the on the dashboard for the student i only wanted the students to be shown so in the view these are the fields that i wanted to show and i said only show if they're created by the currently logged in user so that addresses the privacy concern that was asked earlier like how do you make this not a privacy issue wow love seeing that this is i can just see so many different ways to use this this is really cool yeah so if you want to say not my form entries but my uh meditation record right. i don't know record seems a little formal for meditation but uh you can refresh and you can see my meditation record and instead this could be you know my meditation how many minutes um you can integrate with gravity uh gf chart which is nice uh it's a gravity forms add-on that shows that can show entries as a chart. So you can show your minutes per, you know, over time uh, on a timeline. Wow. Um, so let's, so that's Lifter LMS integration, very standard because of the table layout, but what about, uh, what, what funky things can you do with gravity view? Let's get funky here. <laughs> um, all right, let's say you want to collect what movies you've watched. This is powered by Gravity View and our DIY layout. So if you know HTML, if you know CSS, and you say, I just wanna show Gravity Forms entries and I don't wanna have to worry about it, I just kinda wanna loop and I, uh, where for each entry, show this HTML. Um, in Gravity View, you can do that. And it's a matter of, um, of adding that you want the movie poster, it's an upload field, like an image field. You can configure the HTML and you can say, uh, uh, this is getting a, a bit technical, but you can you can customize fully the, the type of HTML that's displayed for each entry. And you can say any, you can show any of the field data. Um, and you can see that the name of the film and the year of the film are right here. And if you click in additional information like the genre and who it's directed by and the rating on IMDb, for example, could be visible. Um, so these, this is uh, using masonry. Uh, so it automatically will resize based on the size of the screen. Um, and let me show the form that is connected to that, where it has the movie ratings and it has an upload field for the movie poster. So if you wanted to add a new movie, you could do that by going to the form, filling out form, and it'll automatically be added to Gravity View when it's approved. So if I was doing like a fitness training course and I want, you're supposed to like take a selfie, type in the mileage or whatever, like I could, yeah. you could like, and then it would start building out this like workout history. You could sure. Just, so, and you can take that one form and you yeah. can make a bunch of views out of it. So let's say you would just want a selfie gallery on one page. You can make a view that only shows the images and an inspirational quote at the moment where like, I'm, I'm killing it. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling really good. Uh, and then uh, you can have another view that's database and says, okay, well, how many reps did you do that day? What did you eat? Uh, you can connect multiple views together. So you can have one form that gathers your workout history, one form that gathers your food history, and you can combine them on a common uh, field where wow. the common field could be your, your email or your user ID, um, something like that. So you can create views that have all that data um all in, in one place we got a we got another qu a question um this is different this is where like what if a coach is like let's say i'm a coach and i have a website and um i'm taking notes when i do my coaching calls like one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. coaching calls and i want those notes that data to show up in the dashboard for that coaching client 
can, is there a way to make sure. that happen where it's not student submitted but like website owners? oh absolutely yeah so the any any form <laughs> so <laughs> you can nest forms inside views inside forms inside views like you can create these powerful applications uh so anything where you say i have a form and i want to display this yes you can do that um so as a coach you can do that uh, you can have one form where only certain fields are visible to the coach and other fields are visible to the to the student. Um, like review so, my call or something? Or, yeah. Yeah, so like you can use one form and have two different layouts for two different people that are only visible to the, to the different people that they're supposed to be. Um, and, you know, they would never see each other. You would never see theirs and they would never see yours. And, and, one and we have a lot of people in in um, education where the student submits a form uh, for their their end of year art project right then the professors there are a whole group of a committee of professors that come and say okay let's review this final project and see whether or not this passes and whether the student graduates so you have one student submitting an entry and you have tens of professors that are coming and saying okay i i like this i i think the student should it should go forward and that would be you the student submits the form that gets shown in gravity view inside that there's another form where all the professors submit their feedback okay so that's absolutely a common use case uh, where you you connect two different forms together with gravity view that's amazing and you're getting some all caps awesome exclamation <laughs> <laughs> all caps is what i like to see there's awesome. also another uh comment which i think uh we both know the answer to but if if i wanted to then somebody submits the form um can i connect it to infusionsoft through wp fusion and gravity forms has a wp fusion or wp fusion integrates with gravity Forms. so yeah. regardless of whether you're using gravity view or not you can you're covered there right yep absolutely and zapier uh and i made the infusionsoft plugin i no longer control it um but i developed the gravity forms infusionsoft plugin so Oh, wow. <laughs> that's out there too yeah um so yeah you can do anything you want with gravity forms can i connect gravity forms to xyz yes absolutely <laughs> i guarantee there's a way to do a connection with from gravity forms to pretty much anything what about um what uh like sometimes i see coaching people they do something in the beginning where they need to they have courses and coaching and they they need to get the client to sign something and they i know gravity forms has that signer thing can you yeah. get like a cot can gravity view display that the like absolutely Gra so gravity forms has a signature field yeah i believe they also integrate with docusign i think okay um so but regardless they have a signature field and gravity view can show the signature field as well um and gravity view you can hide content based on the type of submission so if the data if one radio button in a form is checked uh show this stuff and if this other thing is checked those show this other stuff so you can really build a dynamic output based on the form that's being filled out uh so if you have different levels of um of courses or different um I don't know. You, you can you can really customize what Gravity View shows to and cater it to the audience that, that is building. Wow, that's super cool. Um, I want to ask Dale if you're is Dale still with us? Dale, what um, what kind of data would you want the uh, to display? I'm just curious. Like, is it like just like a checkbox that I did something, or like a time, or what? I'm just curious, but go go ahead, Zach. I was just, I was just asking there. Uh, yeah, so that's. Um, I'd love to take questions and and because uh, like, can I do this or how would I do this? I, I'm I'm here to answer any questions that people might have, and I can even show a live demo um, if that if that's something that uh, somebody would like to know. So Dale, it looks like Dale was looking for. Um, like that i did the meditation or the the practice like i mm -hmm. i basically completed it like so for example 
somebody could like uh, check it off and then have a timestamp or something that it happened or? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, so when you're coming up with, with an idea for how to do something in gravity forms and gravity view, uh, the question of the what fields, what data do you want to collect? Yeah. It comes up. And so when I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking, okay, um, I'm looking at Dale's question. He says, um, each week I have three exercises I want them to do daily. So my thought was creating three activities uh, to practice more hands-on what was trained in the high level. Okay. So, and then he asked about the leaderboard um, to, to improve competitive nature. Uh, so uh, that I'm not sure which that would require a different structure. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that would be done on the leaderboard. Um, yes, and Samantha just asked, uh, where are the videos to learn how all the capabilities? We have very few channels, uh, very few videos on our, our YouTube channel. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, we have a lot of written documentation, Samantha, um, but not as many videos. And I'm, I'm, I'm aware that we need to expand that and we'll be working on that. Um, in terms of uh, Dale's question for uh, meditation, let me show you, like, let me think out loud using gravity forms and gravity view, and I'll show you what I'm, I'm thinking. All right, let me know if you can see the screen. Yeah, we got it. You were in the, okay. the fields or the form. Okay, so I'm going to do this in my Lifter LMS uh, demo site. So I'm going to be creating a new form. It's called Mindfulness. Did you buy a Lifter LMS demo site? I did. <laughs> you could just ask for one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great deal. One dollar could be a demo. That's, that's excellent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Mindfulness form. Uh, so when I'm thinking about this, I say, okay, there are multiple different things that I want checked off. So I'm thinking, okay, I want the checkboxes field that Gravity Forms offers. So I add a checkboxes field to the form. And I can say, okay, the first thing I want them to do is to um, sit still for five minutes, not even meditate, just sit down, not look at a phone. Don't look at your phone. That's, that's a good <laughs> checkbox, right? Yeah. And then uh, be conscious of your breath for five minutes. So this is not a good list, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good starter. Okay. Uh, so and by the way, I just want to say, Dale, if you want if you want to come up live, you can raise your hand and we can you know we can talk if you want. It's totally up to you. Um, just just let us know. So meditation checklist. Um, so what Dale also wants to know is, you know, how you can show that this happens daily. Um, there are different ways you can limit the number of entries per day uh, or number, number of entries on a form total. Uh, so I'm thinking, okay, Gravity Forms already captures when the entry was created. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, the person is going to be logged in, I assume, when they're creating this entry. So I don't need to add username, name fields, emails. I don't need any of that because Gravity Forms will already know when the user is logged in. Uh, so that's not necessary. Um, all right, well, what if they wanted to add, um, well, if they wanted to add a picture, like, like a selfie, a yeah. yeah, meditation <laughs> selfie, that's nice. Yeah. All right, um, let's do that by adding a file upload field. And just so I understand file. real quick, can you use yeah. the same form over and over? You don't have to be like cloning this form a million times? Oh, or... absolutely, yeah. Okay. And, but yeah. you said you could also limit it. Like if you got, if it was a free course and you had a spam problem or something, you could be like, hey, this, is, this can only fire once a day, right? Yep. So Gravity Perks is another third-party developer uh, for Gravity Forms. And Gravity Perks has great ways to limit the number of entries per day uh, per person. So... Gravity Forms, and I'll show this soon, but uh, first let me limit the file uploads to JPEG, uh, PNG, and uh, what is it? There, SVG? Anyway, SVG, uh, 
anyway, you can limit the type of uploads. So, you know, people who are doing mindfulness can't upload zip files. All right, so we've got a form now. You can preview it, looks good. Checklist, boop, boop, boop. And upload a picture of myself meditating. Here in the form settings, we can go down to uh, limit number of entries. And you can say per day. Cool. You know, one per day. But this is global for the form, not per user. And that's where um, that's okay. where the Gravity Perks uh, yeah. third-party add-on would come in. And you can say only show this form for the month of August, mindful month. Um, and you can say only show it to logged in users, even, uh, even if it's a public page. So if you wanted to send an email to your students, and you're like the first 20 people to leave a review, you're going to get like whatever bonus. And yeah, you know, absolutely. Point. Gravity Forms is an awesome way to do the giveaways like that. Yeah. And Gravity View, you can sh uh, set up to display those, um, those submissions. So if people submit tweets, you can use Gravity View to display those embedded tweets. Wow. Um, yeah. Cool. So let's say we want only, you know, one entry per day and uh, you want entry limit reached. Uh, great job, you've done it. All right, let's take a look at the form, do the check boxes. We haven't required the file field, so I'm just gonna submit it now. And you, this is the default confirmation, uh, but we can edit that if we wanted to. And I think because it's on the it's on the admin, it won't show the message, but let's see. Oh, it does show the message. Great job, you've done it, all right. <laughs> okay, so we have that data, right? We have the entry now from the mindfulness minutes. Uh, let's create a view to show that submission. And let's create a table view because tabular data, you know, it's a time series is tabular. And we can choose what fields to show. So I'm going to choose to show the meditation checklist. But you know what? I'm actually, meditation checklist will show the three check boxes, one after the other. I want to show them as each a column because they're pretty cool to show that you did each one of these. And let's say what date you can click to add the entry date. And I want to show the date format as. I'll leave it as, as this as the default so you can see what that looks like. So, oh, no entries match your request. Well, why not? It's because I didn't approve them. They are, <laughs> they are not yet approved. So what I'm going to do here is either go to permissions or uh, sorry, go to view settings, show only approved entries is checked. So I'm going to uncheck that and update and going to refresh and there right. you go. That's exactly what he was looking for. <laughs> nice. So, okay, the next step. So I'm, I'm the coach, I'm mindfulness coach. I want to leave notes and say, you know, give positive affirmations, give feedback. I can add a table column, search for the note entry notes option. So this is the form within the view you were talking about. This is this is like the easy way to do that. Okay. Yes. There's a there's an actual like form way to embed a form, uh, which is also another way to do it. Like embed a gravity form inside each entry. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, I see. You're, this is you're adding the notes right there. This is entry notes. Yeah. Similar to the uh, gravity forms functionality, so you can configure to display the notes publicly or not. Uh, or only allow adding the notes. So this is powerful. <laughs> um, just powerful, but I'm not going to go into it in detail right now. If you go to back to the live site, refresh, you can see the entry notes here and see one of the entry notes is that Gravity Forms sent the email pro properly. Um, I'm going to add a note says, um, great 
job meditating. I miss the picture. It's frowny face. Nice. And then if you refresh, that's there. And um, yeah, so that, that can be, you can kind of see how a coach might use this. And uh, this would be emailed to, be, uh, by default, if the form has an email field, it will be emailed to that email address. You can choose to hard code in the email address and say, email to Zach and say, email subject, me meditating. <laughs> Very cool. There we go. And by the way, I just want to mention Atara and anybody who's watching this. Um, if you're anything like me, it's really taken me a long time to figure out like forms and the power and like how to put all this together. And you can always get some help with this. Like Zach mentioned Codable earlier. We'll put a link to Codable in the chat. Um, and there's also the Lift Your LMS experts. We have a page there. Like if you're like if you're liking what you're seeing, but it feels a little like I'm not sure if I can put all this together. First of all, this isn't a bunch of code. This is like configuring plugins and whatever. But if you want a more techie person to do it, there are tons of resources out there. And any WordPress freelancer worth their salt is going to know their way around Gravity Forms and and that kind of thing. So help is out there if you don't want to figure it out yourself. I know at least in my early days as a WordPress person, I would get really excited about this, but then I might need some help getting it set up. Sure. And, it, and seeing all this functionality and all the different options and I'm clicking around and I'm just doing things. I apologize for doing it so quickly. Um, I, <laughs> it's been a while since I've given a demo and uh, I need to slow down. So I apologize for that. Uh, but yes, uh, our support team is absolutely, we're here. Uh, to help you every day of the week, um, well, except for weekends, but like every work day, we we have two people who are dedicated support staff, and they um, they're here to help. That's all they do is is answer questions about well, how do I do this? And we we can help log on and say well, this is one thing you can do uh, to achieve your goal. So our our goal, like Lifter LMS, is trying to democratize learning. Uh, we're trying to democratize. Uh, what you can do with gravity forms entries and and how to display those on on the website so we want to make sure that whatever your usage is we that gravity view is set up properly for you and we have a 30-day guarantee so just you know if you try gravity view get in touch with our support right away and say this is what we're trying to do and we're going to be helping you all along that way i got i got another use case for you that i'm pretty excited yeah, sure. about asking you about um, <laughs> there's a feature I've wanted in Lifter LMS for about four or five years. And I think after talking to you today and just really seeing gravity view and just learning more about it and understanding forms, um, a lot of training is typically designed around like a result. And just to be really like generic about it, um, if we look at a business course, it might be about making more money. If it's if we're doing a health course, it might be about losing weight. If we're doing a um, relationships course, it might be like how set like a how satisfied are we with our marriage or our partner, or whatever. Um, if we're sort of like the form you just shows where we're where we're updating it over time. Let's use the business example. If I was teaching something that's designed to like take somebody from you know, zero to a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. And we wanted them to be like, as they're going through the, the course or the coaching program to be updating like their metrics, like, okay, sweet. Uh, how much you make this week or this month? And then see that kind of evolve over time or sure. like we're, we're monitoring weight loss or something. So when we have this like behavior change or this results based learning, how do we, um, any thoughts on how to do that? And maybe use the money example one. If I'm, because a lot of courses make bold promises like, hey, this course will take you from six to seven figures or whatever. But like, if we want to visually make it easy for the student, the tracking to be part of the training and also to visualize that data, ideally on the student dashboard, like you just showed, which is amazing. How, how do we do that? Because right. it's, it's, it's evolving over time, right? Right. So with GF chart, 
is the charting plugin I recommend for gravity forms and uh, GF chart would be great for that, uh, where you can show uh, pie charts for how satisfied are you like if you're the if you're the course creator, um, you can see visual representations of those kind of polls and uh, see, you know, well, 80% of my people that take this course are very satisfied with the relationship. Great. Nice. Um, in terms of business, you can visualize that data and aggregate. You can visualize that data. Yep. Wow. And not just so, per user, but per group. Overall, yeah, yeah. exactly. Wow. So you can do it per user and per group. They integrate with Gravity View, and that's the thing about Gravity Forms. We all integrate with each other. Um, you can export everything as PDF using Gravity PDF. Um, like it's all great. <laughs> <laughs> cool. um, so for like a business use case, Gravity View has a math plugin where you can sum and uh, you can do perform mathematical calculations on the entry data. So you can say, okay, for all of the submissions by this user, add up to $1.2 million. And you can show that number at the top. You can embed that number wherever you want. Uh, so, like, so they could like go, you could, I see what you, so you could output it like even like in giant on the homepage just to keep oh, yeah. it Oh yeah, no, like, make it big. Whether it's weight loss or whatever. Uh, that's, yeah. Wow. Man, I'm, 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 uh, I might need to get busy with this. Um, Dale's asking about um, weighted answers to multiple choice questions. Um, you can do that with gravity forms. Um, yeah. Let me see. Or yes, uh, you can go, they have a G gravity forms um, quiz add-on uh, and they have weighted answers as part of that tool. Um, What's an example of where you would use that? I'm just trying to get my head wrapped around it. So like in a math quiz, for example, there might be one question that's more important than another question. Okay. You could say, yeah. uh, you know, if the, if the student understands this, then that's far more important than if they understand that. Uh, I think that's an example of a weighted question though, it's been a while. Lifter LMS Dale also has weighted quiz questions. Mm. Um, so, but definitely check out the gravity version too. They might have something you need. Where do you rank your business? I'm not sure if I got a question. Oh, like a Likert scale maybe? Like on a scale of one to 10? I mean, that's, is there a gravity forms type for that or something? I guess- Yeah, you there is. Uh, that's the survey, survey add-on. Yeah. Um, so I use gravity forms for, uh, oh man, what's it called? Uh, NPS, uh, net promoter score. Yeah. So I use Gravity Forms for my net promoter score survey, uh, where if they, depending on how they rate uh, their experience with Gravity View, it performs different actions. Um, you know, if they rate it badly, I want to know if they rate it, well, I want to know all, all the ratings actually, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it shows, it, it has different follow-up sequences for my customers based on their ratings. So if they say it wasn't good, I set up, I add them to a list of, uh, in my back end that says, okay, well, why, you know, please tell me more, can we set up a call, that sort of thing. Um, and if it, if it rates, if, if my customers rate Gravity View well, I, it goes to the testimonial flow and I wanna make sure that we capture the, um, their feedback and, you know, we can follow up with them for case studies and things like that. So that's powered by Gravity Forms and then Gravity View can show that data. Nerd alert here. I need to do that for Lifter LMS. I need to get really <laughs> the thing done. Is it possible by chance to, maybe you don't know, we're both friends with WP Fusion here, but can you take a customer's NPS and pass it to through WP Fusion? Like, for example, I use Active Campaign to, so I'm like, oh, if I'm checking yes, in on can. somebody, like, you can. Okay. Yes. And okay. you can say, uh, you can tag customers. Uh, based on their feedback and say at net promoter score is a is a theory behind feedback that says on a scale of zero to ten um you the people who are eight nine and ten are your most valuable like promoters of your product seven and six are really neutral i think and then everybody else doesn't like your product i think is the gist yeah <laughs> um so you can tag them with doesn't like the product neutral or uh, promoter 
the tractors, um, I think they're called. The bomb. Yeah, so you, yeah. <laughs> you can tag them in whatever, an active campaign or whatever. Yeah, that's super cool. And I, I think Dale's offering some clarifying stuff here. Mm. And maybe you know this, but maybe unlike a quiz where there's a right and a wrong question or a certain question has more weight, what about, um, uh, are you aware of people doing stuff where there's like a, certain answers provide points? So for example, like there's not a right or wrong answer, but you know, answer A, you get five points, answer B, you get four points and so on. And, and at the end, sure. how we're like using that to calculate a- Yeah, a, uh, gravity forms can do that. Um, and gravity view can do that too. Um, uh, like uh, what character from Friends are you? That sort of thing, <laughs> um, based well, on the score. Can you do a personality test with gravity? I'm sure you can. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that you can assign different values to different um, answers. So Gravity Forms has a checkbox that says Enable Values. I think it's called, um, and you can say for this text choice, it has this numeric value. That's awesome. And then you can add it up and do things with that after. Yeah. And could you speak to, because it's just come up on, on some other calls, the um, multiple forms filling out one singular giant view. So like if, yeah. we're, if we're going through a training and through the training, we're entering little pieces of data through forms. And then by the end, we have some giant document or that like, is assembling all that is that possible yeah so i spoke earlier about how um you can have uh like workout data and food data and you can merge it in one one view um you can also just um like you can build your own dashboard like of your something like, a dashboard is another way to say it like yeah maybe you're, maybe you're filling out like a you know the um What's that thing? Uh, the business model canvas. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. But there's like maybe lesson one, we look at our target market. Lesson two, we look at our whatever. And then it ultimately it spits out a view of like our business. Sure. Yeah. You can do, you can do things like that. Uh, like, okay. So you have a form that says, what's your, uh, what's your quarterly target? Yeah. Uh, and you have you have different questions based on your business, um, and you can have that form be entered each quarter for planning your future quarter. Uh, and then using Gravity View, you could show that in a dashboard. As long as you know CSS to lay it out nicely, uh, you can just show those one after another. Each each entry can be displayed as one of those business uh, dashboard charts. Wow. Uh, that was, that was super cool. That was super cool. Man, I'm excited. How old was Gra how old is Gravity View? How long have you been around? We've been around since actually we're coming. I need to start planning for the birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we're yeah. turning six years old on uh, July 24th. That's awesome. So September. So you're like three years older than Lifter LMS. Or not th three months older than because we oh, nice. We started in October of 2014. So nice. I think you, you went a little early, came up. Okay, Chris. So here, th this little buddy up here, his name's Floaty. Yeah. What's your astronaut's name? We don't have a name for him. You don't have a name for your astronaut? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Floaty needs a named friend. <laughs> <laughs> true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's, that's super cool. Um, well, anything else while we're here? Anything else to share or words for the people? Um, you know, let us know what you what you need. Because um, when it comes to form gathering, Gravity Forms, I recommend. And when it comes to displaying data, Gravity View, Lifter LMS, you can do so much with Lifter LMS. And Gravity View, from what I've seen with uh, coming up with uh you know integrating with gravity uh, with lifter lms gravity view can fill in a lot of those gaps where you say i want to do this with lifter lms but it's not quite available it's it's you know you have assignments you have courses you have lessons you have things like that gravity view can kind of paste in those little pieces 
and complete that application uh, for all the people who are building out LMS solutions um, for their for their needs. So, Gravity View, check with our support. We're a but we're a bunch of people who are interested in coming up with solutions that you know that make your website work better and make your life easier because that's the goal of having a website. Uh, I think that's fantastic. And I, I heard, I mean, my technical co-founder partner Thomas. I don't know how many times he would say, yeah, that's just a form. That's just a form. And then we got to do something with the data. Like, so once you really get it, like, I mean, there's, there's just no end to, to what you can do. And an LMS, a uh, WordPress LMS website is a web application. It's not just a static content site. And part of what makes an app an application is, um, you know, the interaction between, you know, the user and the site creator or other users and whatever that interaction and forms are like the bridge between all that stuff and yeah yeah it's it's cool and i'm hearing from the chat that you know part of the problem that i'm not addressing well enough and gravity view website and our videos aren't either is uh explaining the possibilities and and uh kind of showing what could be possible so i'm going to get to work on that and make sure that uh that we have a video series that shows, you know, here's what our customers are doing and here's what's possible. Um, and we also, we also might be able to work on a joint piece of content because I kind of know where course creators and coaches are going. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, I think we could collaborate on something and come up with something pretty good. That'd be great. Well, and Gravity View is working on Gravity Camp, which is a new uh, website that's powered by Lifter LMS where people have courses and learn how to do different things with Gravity View. Uh, so we're working on the more content and more videos um, for Gravity Camp, but they're also still kind of um, more of the basics and not like let's explore what's possible. So um, let's do some more exploring. Yeah, let's do it. Well, um, looks like Kathy just drew the winner. We got Kevin Lull. You're the winner mm. of the one year of the $99 Lift LMS add-on. So um, there's, a, there's a message in the chat for you. Please email us at team at lifterlms.com and we'll hook you up with your winners. Your winning. Nice. Um, I wanted to thank you, Zach, for coming. I'm so glad our, I think I first met Zach at a WordPress conference a couple years ago. And uh, I had seen you on the internet or whatever. I'm glad our paths crossed and, and now here we are um, collaborating. Um, Me too. And I look forward to seeing, I'm, I'm a really tall guy. Chris is a really tall guy. Um, <laughs> if you see tall people uh, at a future WordCamp, when we're able to do that again, just uh, come say hi and uh, I'd, I'd love to help. Uh, you know, Chris is an awesome guy. So uh, I appreciate it. And you're actually very tall. How tall are you, Zach? Uh, six foot eight. <laughs> okay. I'm six foot two. Zach, six foot eight. So if you see the comrades, you can't. Don't be scared. <laughs> I, I, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, um, Zach, thank you very much for coming. Uh, everybody who's watching this, if you need any of the links we put in the chat, go ahead and grab those because um, we're going to be closing this out. We will put the uh, replay of this in our webinar training area. So you're going to, uh, you'll be able to reference this again. I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, Kathy, thanks for helping put, in, put, put this on. And uh, Zach, appreciate you doing that. I'm super, I didn't even know before this call we had a new Lifter LMS integration <laughs> on the map. This is the beauty of the WordPress community. And this is what's cool about coming over from, um, you know, hosted LMS or course platforms and, or even like the, um, we were talking about personality quizzes and stuff. You can buy expensive software that does all this, that charges you a monthly fee, but it's not flexible. You can't, start combining it or you know bring in somebody to like tweak it just a little bit to make it perfect like this is we, the have, we have a customer who's saving thirty thousand dollars a year by using gravity forms gravity view wordpress um instead of a hosted solution that they they've they've they just rip people off and uh you know if you if you are paying too much for a hosted solution check out you know, what you can do with WordPress instead. It's amazing. I see that we have a testimonial like that. Somebody's like, I can't believe what I can do with the <laughs> infinity bundles. I was getting quotes for $30,000 or whatever. Like it's, mm -hmm. 
I mean, yeah, WordPress is a little harder to drive and it comes with a little more responsibility, but you know, when you get the right tools together and it's amazing what you can do. Yep. And you're not locked in. Yeah, totally. Totally. Well, Zach, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody watching. And thank you, Kathy. All right. Well, have a good day, everybody. And uh, Zach, I might send you another Slack just so we can chat separately and talk about your integration. And uh, nice. everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Thanks, y'all.